Howdy darling, in this pick a card tarot reading, we are going to be doing tarot messages from Lady Hecate. Alright, so if you feel as if you've been getting called to Lady Hecate, or you're just searching for some tarot insight uh, from Lady Hecate, continue on watching. I'm going to leave in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment, for the timestamps for each of these piles. If you don't know how this works, all I want you to be doing is meditate and focus on each of these three piles and feel... Uh, uh, try to feel which one is calling out to you the most. In pile number one, we have a rose quartz vial. In pile number two, we have a moonstone vial. And then in pile number three, we just have a quartz vial. I'll give you guys a moment to meditate on these three options. When you do make your choice, check the description box for the timestamp so you can go straight to your reading for messages from Lady Hecate, darling. Bling, Stay a while bling, and listen. Bling. Alrighty, for my darlings that chose pile number one, the Rose Quartz Vial, let's see what messages Lady Hecate has for you. Alright, we have the Wolverine Spirit, the Waning Moon, as well as the New Moon. You are a lot tougher than you think you are. What is it that you need to release? And a new start is coming. The main Major Arcana card coming in is the Lover's Energy. Ooh, darling. All right. So right off the bat, we're getting into a spicy reading. Feels as if you guys are really trying to figure out what to do with some type of relationship in your life. When I say relationship, I don't mean just romantic, darling. This can be some type of relationship in the workplace, family for some of you guys. All right. This is just some type of social connection that I feel like you guys are dealing with. For some of you guys, I feel like this sense of uh, someone trying to uh, disempower you, all right, in whatever way that looks like to you with this Ace of Wands here. It feels as if this energy here for a while has just been really demotivating towards you, all right, whether it's through their interactions or just through their sheer existence, darling. It feels as if this situation has really stopped you from really claiming the next portion the next chapter of your life because of this energy's presence here and so you are left with this decision i'm trying to figure out what do you do with this connection here do you still care about them do you have a history with them is that why things are so complicated for you i see with this two of pentacles coming in as well that this is a situation that you guys are being called to action on all right the reason why this situation in your life has been uh, feel like it's been a progressive thing can i say that darling feels as if this has been something that has just increased with anxiety it's like the more that you put this situation off of recent the more complicated it becomes and that is because it feels as if hecate is wanting you to address this uh to claim back your power i feel i don't know what this situation has that you feel like it has over you here but i feel like just this sense of where i'm being shown like a key here hermit energy huh for whatever the reason is, it feels as if this situation has made you feel isolated. It's made you feel isolated. It's made you feel as if that some of you guys are just losing a spark of passion for doing anything here. This death card as well. Mm. <clears throat> so what I get with this situation here is that you don't want this person, you don't want this situation to have control over you anymore deep down if you were to be honest with yourself here you would want to cut this connection off so it no longer has access to you but it's almost through this sense of obligation some of you guys might have due to the history um towards this energy here that you don't want to let this go it's almost as if you're trying to find any way possible to make it so you can 
have your cake but eat it too but the thing i want to challenge you on is that is this really cake that you're fighting for did it feel like cake at one point perhaps but i don't feel like this is a situation that it's cake anymore for you i feel like for you in this situation you have to accept the fact that you have to let this go here we pull the world card now. Yeah, this is the final card in the Major Arcana, darling. This is cycles closing off to begin new cycles. You guys are not wanting to leave your comfort zone, I feel, pile number one. You guys are in this place of where you want to actively evolve, but do it from a safe place. Probably because of what has recently been going on for you. Life has been pretty chaotic, I feel. And so you're just craving this sense of normalcy here. Like the last thing you really want to be doing is uh, taking more risks here. All right. But I don't feel like this is a risk for you. All right. It's a risk in the sense of uh, what your life will look like when you no longer have this be part of your story anymore. But I feel like this is a good step in the right direction for you. And then, yeah, we have the sun energy coming in as well. This is definitely a good step in the right direction here. You go from feeling like you're in the dark here as if you don't really know how to go from point A to point B and you don't even know where point A is. You go from feeling like you can't see what's going to be happening next week to things being a lot clearer. The Sun card is the most positive card in the Major Arcana of Tarot. So let's continue on with this storyline here. How does this progress for my darling, all right? You're being called to let this go though, all right? You're being called to let this go, whatever this is to you. Because I don't feel like this is like free, this is like permission I feel from Tarot, from Hecate to acknowledge the situation for what it is and that it's no longer good for you here. Some of you guys have been aware about this for some time, right? You guys are aware about this, about some time, about how this is just a devil in your life, right? And this is just a situation where it's just, uh, how do we say, just like creating more obstacles, making life a little bit more complicated than what it needs to be, all right? This is permission for you to see this and be like okay i gotta make a change and you guys some of you guys have been aware about this for a while some of you guys have fallen into ha bad habits and it's kind of allowed this to consume you these bad habits maybe this has been like a coping mechanism for you i feel yeah coping mechanism we got that three of swords coming in this has definitely been a coping mechanism all right with this ten of cups here the thing about it is you guys have these really grandiose desires for your life you have these big plans and i feel like what's started to frustrate you guys as well is that what you imagined for yourself that picture perfect life right whatever that is for you whether that's like that white picket fence golden retriever and all that it's like this vision has to be shifted a little bit here while you still can get to this ten of cups i'm not saying that darling but some of the details are not going to be what you first envisioned all right we have the page of pentacles coming in here be expecting communication from who the knight of pentacles <laughs> interesting here i like this a lot pile number one you think about the page of pentacles that's someone something extending out a pentacle to you be expecting communication be expecting some type of opportunity here all right with this knight of pentacles this has gone on a long journey to get to you this energy all right and so when i say communication i want to be clarifying i don't feel as if this is like communication for um a new social situation i feel like this is communication for some type of opportunity there's some type of message that's on its way to you hecate wants you to be aware of and to be on the lookout for it that message is going to look different for all of you whether it's messages through cardinals red cardinals whether this is a message through if you recently put out an application somewhere and waiting to hear an answer about a situation it's going to be coming and i get this message that you're not going to be able to allow this energy in this knight of pentacles as well as this page of pentacles energy in until you address this situation right until you address the elephant in the room this thing that makes it so hard for you to find motivation i feel right but why are you clinging on to this why are you fighting for this for so much more for so much longer than necessary 
Three of Pentacles coming in here. As well as this temperance energy. You guys are being too patient, all right? Y'all are being way too patient with an energy. You are seeing, it's as if like you think about the potential and how it, an energy could be for you, how good it could be. And because you've been banking on the potential of how something would turn out, you've been overly patient with it. And this is your sign to let it go, darling, all right? This is one of those things where you didn't want to it's like you kept fighting for this kept being stubborn in the name of being a good person a good family member a good friend a good lover someone that does just, just doesn't quit when it comes to projects here and so i feel like this need again to say like here's outside permission if you feel like you needed it that you can let it go that you can call it quits and change direction and how you're going to get to from point a to that point b being that ten of cups some of you guys just needed to have some type of outside affirmation that your life was going to change your life plans were going to drastically change here huh. very interesting so let's get some final thoughts for you guys let's get three cards we have this emperor energy coming in here three of cups as well as this moon energy so what you don't see coming as i said from beforehand with that page and knight of pentacles be expecting communication from somebody all right uh there's definitely some type of message coming forward to you that's going to be a cause for celebration here all right but again i feel like if you were to try to force this energy to come forward before you fully release yourself from this whatever this lovers and devil energy is in your life darling all right it's interesting how this situation is like you have the devil uh, you have this lovers here it's like it's in your heart of hearts but then it's ending up being the devil until you address this energy, darling, I, I don't advise for you to try to force new energy to come in. I feel as if you were to try to force the situation to come in sooner than when you are ready for it. It's just, it wouldn't be in... I just keep hearing the message that it would just want to be ready. All right, it, so really find closure to that situation, pile number one, and you have a lot of good things coming in, but you need to let it be known to the universe. You need to let it be known to Hecate that you're ready for it, and you're only going to get ready when you let this go. All right, it's time for you to change your own story here. All right, it's time for you to begin this next phase of your life darling without this being part of it as scary as that sounds but i also feel like you'll acknowledge that it's pretty exciting for you all right i love you so much pal number one if you enjoyed this tarot reading remember i only do my readings through my website simplyvelka.com i also do weekly zodiac readings pal number one uh every single week so be sure to check out your zodiac sign and be sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram same as my name on here simply velka i love you so much pal number one Bye, darling. Alrighty, my darlings, who chose pile number two, the Moonstone Vial. Let's get into y'all's tarot reading messages from Hecate. Your Oracle cards. We have the Boar card coming in here. You face your problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. The Void, of course, Moon. Nothing will come of this situation. As well as the South Node. Do not let your past hold you back. Your major arcana energy is the hermit energy coming in. This feels like an energy where you're taking a stand here. I feel as if you are demanding more respect or you will not allow your energy in a space anymore. It feels as if for you, you are no longer going to pretend that you don't see through a situation that you don't see through someone's intentions something's intentions here feels as if you have the opportunity to really break a cycle in your life because i'm showing being shown patterns here 
feels as if this is like a type of pattern, whether this is the type of energy that always seems to attract itself to you and latch on to you, whether this is a type of pattern that you have with one specific energy here, where you constantly go back and forth with it, it's patterns. And I feel as if you guys are being called to action on breaking those patterns. I feel as if Hecate is making her presence more known to you in, her, in your life because she wants to help with breaking those patterns i'm being shown a cord cutting ritual here so if you have been feeling called to cutting out and doing a cord cutting ritual i feel as if hecate would strongly be able to assist with that it feels as if there's more than one energy that you need to cut off from it feels as if like by you taking a stand with one energy it almost starts like causes like three other energies like other uh, um, things to pop up and be a situation that you need to take care of here and that's why Hecate is making her presence known to you in your life currently through different signs some of you guys may be through numerology others of you might be through some type of animal or insect or bug all right songs for some of you as well color and that's why she's stepping forward because she wants to assist you with addressing these other energies she wants to let you know that you are not alone at this time she wants you to know that you are protected a lot more than what you are aware of because i see you guys really anxious about the logistics behind things feels as if it's not so black and white for you just to cut this off cut off this toxic energy at the source for many reasons more than just the seven of wands like this it feels like other things that you have to address it feels like something logistically involved here some of you guys you feel like you've committed too much up until this point that you have to see it the way through but and here's the thing i don't feel as if for you guys like we're speaking we're speaking such finality here but it doesn't have to be something in a f place of finality for you i feel like it's this place where you are just asking for more you're not asking let's clarify you're not asking for more respect you're demanding more respect and how you're being viewed spoken to treated and it's almost as if the other energy is making the choice and complicating things and so that's not on you, darling, all right? That's not on you. That's on them for make them to make that choice, all right? And so another reason as to why Hecate would be coming in to bring forth some extra affirmation for you is because Seven of Swords energy here. It's almost the sense of you won't know who to trust. You don't know what to trust. It feels as if there's like a lot of paranoia, a lot of anxiety that you're going through right now. And so the one thing that you could really value is a really grounded energy, a really grounded perspective. I'm being shown uh, right now from Hecate some type of like wildlife in the woods and something in that manner. I'm being shown someone digging. I feel as if some of you guys need to make an offering uh, to the lands that you're living on currently or even to Hecate as well. All right. I'm not here to tell you how to live your spiritual life. But I'm um, making some type of offering uh -uh. through nature. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here, as well as the Ace of Cups coming in. Fabulous. So I like this energy a lot. This is letting me know that be expecting. It's almost as if you're afraid of letting go of a previous energy because you don't want to go backwards in life or you're afraid of the transitional process, perhaps. And so what I want to be telling you is that you have some really solid things coming your way. Eight of Pentacles, that's a card of up leveling. Ace of, Pent uh, Ace of Cups coming in here, that's new opportunities. That is new love for those that are single or trying to, you know, because you can love more than just a romantic situation, darling, right? I feel this if you have a lot of positive things growing. All right. And so this is a case of where it's like you want to just be very, uh, I get the sense of just being unapologetically yourself. We even have in the back of the deck, the tower card coming in here before it started shuffling. It's like you need to be more unapologetically yourself because it's through you being claiming more of your power through you shining brighter than where what you currently are right now. That's going to force energies to show where they stand. It's going to reveal people's intentions, their thoughts to you. 
it feels as if like the more that you get comfortable with yourself, the more clear your path becomes, but it only comes becomes more clear through what is triggered by you putting your foot down. What is ha what happens after you place boundaries? You have the Ten of Cups. It's almost as if by you guys claiming your rightful place on your throne and whatever facet that looks like to you, you end up attracting the right people. You end up in response doing away with the Seven of Swords energy here. And even if, you know, because I'm not going to sugarcoat this, darling, I feel as if Ten of Wands coming in. Yeah, I feel as if uh, by you taking a stand, you are going to lose some situations, some situations you're going to be forced to having to let go of, but that shouldn't hold you back because it's going to like Hecate is going to make sure that those energies that end up leaving get replaced by something a lot more um, beneficial for you. That's why when you think about this Eight of Pentacles, it makes me think of, um, I believe it's from Ciara, Upgrade You. <laughs> Um, but there's a bunch of songs that have some type of version of like upgrade. And so that's what I feel like is going on for you is like upgrading, you know, at the end of the day, you might be afraid of taking a stance, setting boundaries because of what falls apart because of it, what, who and what leaves because of it. But you'll see eventually here that you, while well, yes, you'll feel a little bit isolated for a while with this human energy, right? But you'll find that these things that ended up leaving you, these cycles that are closing off, right? Because tens represents closures to cycles. What closes off ends up being stuff that has done nothing but weigh heavy on you. And that's why you're noticing after we acknowledge you needing to let those situations go with Hecate's help. All right, even I, I'm going back to that ritual now. It's almost as if by making some type of ritual, you know, custom personal ritual to you or offering that almost would be a sign uh, that you'd be interested in working with Hecate for longer. And then that this is what it is that she could provide for you. This is almost like a calling uh, to work more intimately with Hecate, allow her to be more of a mentor in your life. But the only way to show that you are ready to receive her guidance is to accept this closure, darling, right? This is our third 10. We only have one more 10 of pentacles, or one more 10 to pull before we get all the 10s, which is 10 of pentacles. You have to show that you are ready for this guidance from Hecate. And that is finally closing the door on a situation, allowing Hecate's help when it comes to that cord cutting. King of Cups coming in here, as well as this death card coming in. So just be aware, if you do want Hecate's influence in your life, her guidance in your life right now, she has full intentions on closing off situations in your life that do not bring you emotional growth and bring you inner peace and so for a lot of you guys you are going to be forced to having to confront some type of bully i think that's what i wanted to say since the beginning if i didn't out loud it's like confronting some type of bully confronting some type of some of you guys might diagnose them as a narcissist that's not my business right but that's the type of it's very selfish it's just very they're not considering how this impacts you they don't consider your emotions here they very much so just like a, a number you're not considered an asset to them they take your energy they take what it is that you offer what it is that you provide for granted and so if you were to allow her energies lady hecate's energies to take influence do you think she's going to make sure those energies that no longer serve you are put to an end all right so that is the tarot reading that I have for you, pile number two. I do weekly zodiac readings on my channel, so be sure to check those out each week for your zodiac sign. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading here today. Uh, remember, if you want to book a tarot reading with me, it's only through my website, simplyvelka.com. All right, and be sure to follow me on my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, pile number two, same as my username on here, simplyvelka. I love you so much, darling, and let's connect sometime in the near future. Bye, y'all. 
Alrighty, my darlings, you chose pal number three. You guys chose the Quartz Vial. Alright, darling, let's get into your tarot reading and receive guidance from Lady Hecate for your life right now, darling, okay? We have the Seagull card coming in here. Time is the Now is the time for deep emotional healing. Surrender to the divine, the full moon. This is powerful, darling. All right, I'll get into that in a moment and why, as to why. And then the north node stepping out of your comfort zone. Ooh, this is powerful, darling, powerful. You know, the number, th number three, pile number three had the least flashy uh, vial, right? Just normal chords, but y'all got the most flashy reading. Oh my gosh, the magician. Yeah, and this is the first time that I'm seeing these cards, by the way. Um, so <laughs> that's this is a genuine reaction. So with this magician energy being the major arcana for your overall energy at this time here. All right, <laughs> Lady Hecate wants you to go inwardly. I feel as if she's been leaving signs for you, darling, throughout your life. All right. And especially recently, it's not a coincidence of the repetitive situations that you've been noticing here, all right? And it's been calling out to you. It's not a coincidence here. This is a direct calling uh, from Lady Hecate herself, darling, all right? Uh, while other people, they may just feel drawn to connect with her and all that, right? This is a direct affirmation for those that feel as if they have been getting called to, to Lady work with Lady Hecate, that this is the case. This is like a type of mentorship, matronship for those that identify with that type of uh, terminology as well this is a situation where lady hecate wants to take you under her wing and really connect with you work with you to create the life that you want with yourself that you want for yourself right the magician energy as i always say is like that mad scientist energy perfectly i just now realized perfectly showcased in this dynamic here and so with this, the magician sees themselves as they create the reality that they want to see in the world. They can't see, they can't conceptualize a reality that they're not in control. And so that's what we, uh, Lady Hecate really wants to help you tap into, darling, is to tap into this magician energy. She wants to assist you in creating that dream life, darling. All right. But you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. So this is already just some foreshadowing, darling. All right. That if you choose to answer this calling, because you don't have to, right? You don't have to. It's ultimately your choice. But if you choose to connect with this energy, to connect with Lady Hecate, she's going to really put you out of your comfort zone. And what that means is that she's going to put you in situations that help you ultimately for your growth. But at the current point in time when it's happening, you may not like it at all initially, as some people react that way when it comes to leaving their comfort zone. That comfort zone can look like a lot of things. Environment, because I get moving, I'm being shown eight of wands a lot here. So I get to that as a heavy emphasis. But whenever I see this surrender to the divine, this is the main reason as to why I say it's an affirmation for a direct calling. Because she's asking for you to not surrender your energies in the sense of, you know, like, it's no one, she don't want nothing to do with your soul, darling, all right? I can confirm that. But it's the sense of where releasing yourself of those inhibitions, releasing yourself of the uh, the skepticism, right? And it's good to have a healthy dose of skepticism, especially even when it comes to receiving tarot readings, right? But the sense of where kind of owning more of that full energy when her energy is involved, trusting the process, having faith, right? In order to have faith in a situation, you believe in it, even if there's no physical, tangible proof as to why you feel the way that you feel about things, right? So let's continue on. Let's start unpacking this with tarot. We have the Nine of Pentacles stepping in here. For many of you guys, Hecate wants to assist with financial success, helping you get your business off the ground. Some of you guys, the Lady Hecate really wants to uh, help molding is the only word that's coming to mind here, help mold you into the practitioner that you and her both know that you're able to accomplish and starting your own storefront, offering your own services for financial benefit as well. We have here, even in the back of the deck, before I pull any other cards, darling, 
the star energy coming in here all right so the star energy it's known as the wish being granted for you all right it's known as a lot of healing rectifying things that have been just a burden a struggle in your life for a long period of time for those that have been extremely patient about having us uh, waiting for things to pan out this is the key this is the key it's by working with lady hecate and allowing her influence to guide you we have the two of swords coming in now all right now this two of swords this is being shown as a crossroads so as you continue connecting with lady hecate you are going to be forced to make a decision it's like you're being pushed into this sense of like a, an ultimatum really darling dealing with an ultimatum in your life and being like it's either this or that your commitment's being tested here the challenge is brought forward towards you it's going to be a situation where hecate expects you to take physical further quick action physical action to these ideas that you have that you have been having but even ideas that lady hecate has for you as well be paying attention to your intuition at this current point in time i feel as though she's going to assist you as well with granting you ideas blessing you with ideas giving you downloads of knowledge of insight of where to be going next with your path all right be paying attention to those signs we have the king of cups coming in as well sense of like emotional healing coming in here some type of healing that's necessary something that you need to close your on that you're craving closure on nine of wands as well with the three of wands there's like the sense of closure heck it is uh, hmm. there's like this sense of where it's like how do I put this? Isn't this moon energy coming in here as well? It's like I'm hearing Hecate like trying to focus in on like one specific thing that like you're trying to ignore. I'm trying to like hone in on it here, but I can't really. Queen of Cups. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna just channel this message and just leave it as that here, and then we'll continue on with this. But I just need to have this be said. Some of you guys have been ignoring something. And it's as if like if you put it but it's like it makes me think about like when you're sweeping right when you're younger and you just don't feel like getting into that one corner something you don't even have to be younger honey right who am i to judge right there's this one corner that's a little bit hard for the broom to get right behind the fridge we'll just say and so if you end up just pushing stuff there sometimes or it was just being left there being ignored hope hoping that eventually just figures itself out here Hecate is like the specific message and I'm just gonna say it because she's consistent on it it's like don't think that she doesn't see this don't think that you can you're not that slick that it's gonna have to be addressed it's going to be brought to the light here but it's not in like an ominous or bad way but it's the sense of where it's like she isn't forgetting about this she still has memory of this she still she has eyes on the situation here and she wants you to she has full intentions on bringing closure to that situation full intention on addressing that stuff that's been hidden away in the corner all right so that's what we got on that four of pentacles I feel as if she's going to really help those who are in, in, interested in investing obviously i'm not a financial uh advisor so take this with the grain of salt darling if you wish all right i feel as if she's going to be helping those when it comes to investments and in stocks especially even just in general when it comes to investment of your energies who you open your heart up to as well ace of cups energy i just feel as if she's going to show to you where to invest your energies into to bring you forth further opportunities in your life we have this nine of cups energy coming in now this is another card second card of a wish being granted all right by definition here Hecate really wants to she really wants to six of wands coming in here she really has this idea vision for you the for the life that she wants to help you create for yourself that you always have in yourself here but it's almost as if you've watered down this vision for yourself because you you as if you told yourself that's not possible it is completely possible especially with the help of lady hecate's influence here but you have to be ready for it so are you going to answer this deity calling or aren't you what choice are you going to be making in regards to this 
situation but you guys pile number three i can confidently say you got the most fabulous reading darling all right so um very impactful this was definitely meant to reach those that this reached in pile number three so i love you guys so much remember pal number three if you want to book a private reading with me i only do my readings through my website simplyvelka.com all right darling if you want to follow me on social media as well uh, simply velka on both tiktok and instagram and i also do weekly zodiac readings all right pal number three so check out your zodiac message as well and i'll connect with you sometime hopefully in the near future darling i love you so much bye